up everyone and welcome to my uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade Tau playthrough post my orc playthrough. I'm going to be starting from scratch. Um, I'm going to be doing this on normal difficulty this time instead of easy because now I feel like more confident in my playing skills. I could take down a normal opponent. And um, uh, as you guys can hear, I have a new mic. And a headset. Um, it's not really a headset. It's um, uh, it's a computer earphone with a microphone. So it's like basically an earbud that like goes around your um, ear with a mic attached to it. Basically, what those um, what a lot of you know guys wear on their like um, like Bluetooth headsets and stuff like that. Like when you on your phone, you just put it around your ear. That's basically what I'm using right now. Except it isn't wireless, which sucks because the cord is so small. I have to lean into my computer. But, uh, you know, tell me if uh, you guys think this mic sounds better, or my old one does, and I'll, like, switch it up. Alright, so, uh, leave your comments below. Without further ado, let's start it up. You guys can watch the intro. I'll shut up now. The planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus's central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. Alright, so we got uh, a challenge laid out for us. Oh, and automatically selected a town for me, how nice. You are Shas Okaiis, military commander of the Tel Forces on Cronus. While others fight for greed, pride, or conquest, you fight for the greater good. From high tech battle suits to fearsome auxiliaries, your forces stand ready to reclaim Cronus for the Tau Empire. Ethereal Shai Ulris has declared that you must push back the invaders. You will not fail. Yeah, um, I actually think the Tau, out of all these, is my favorite to be, just because I like um, how they play. Um, they have, like, no turrets, so you always have to be on the move, which, like, forces you to um, go on the offensive all the time. And I think that's where I really lack in most games, I'm too defensive. Well, if the turrets were moved, I have no choice but to advance, which I really like about the Tau Empire. Kind of, like, forces me out of my whole actually do something instead of just camp or something. He's got a badass chain gun! Do, 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 do. The rise of the Necrons and the arrival of other powers on Cronus was a threat the Tau Empire could not ignore. With their doctrine built firmly around the so-called greater good, the Tau could not tolerate seeing a thriving colony taken away from them. The Ethereals, leaders of the Empire, responded to the distress signals from Cronus by sending some of their best and brightest to retake the world. Aonel Shorez was among the most lauded of a new generation of the ethereal caste. He would be responsible for restoring proper order to this wayward world. With him came the military leader, Shas Okais, a student of the teachings of Commander Pure Tide. Okais brought a massive force of firecast warriors, as well as auxiliaries from the Tau's allied races, the Krut 
and the Vespid. Tau ground forces landed in the city of Tashin, or Asharis, to use its true Imperial name. And from there, began the crusade to retake the planet as a whole. Alright. So, I say we best get to work as quickly as possible. And um, uh, take down um, some of the. Welcome to the places. single player campaign yeah. for Dawn of War. I don't need your help, you suck. You really just tell nothing. It really just ruins the whole feel of it. But anyway. So, um, uh, I think we should start off by. Uh, you know, I really hate this. Like, um, well, like, uh, I don't start with anything. See? If I was, like, for instance, Space Marines, I wouldn't have this, this, or that. Instead. Like, I would just have nothing. If I was Space Marine, then Tau would have, like, this, 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 and Eldar would have, like, that, so. I'm, I just really don't like that. You start from nothing. You have to work your way up. But, um, first order of business is to, um, uh, I think, um, claim areas that we'll be able to defend quickly, efficiently, and, um, without any compromisation, so. I'm going to be taking the Western Barons. Then I'm going to be taking this, so I can immediately launch attacks on places we need, such as the Industrial Production, Fury, which I will be getting immediately is the best thing you can have. Increased Manpower, Bulwark, well, I don't like this map at all. I'm going to ignore this, because I just hate it. It is so hard to get Bulwark. I think it's this one. I really like um, the forward base mission because it just spawns you with your best weapons, best vehicles, everything. It's just, it's just fun, you know? But you can't like build your base, so if you lose, you know, you're done. You can't like just build another army and go. No, you can't. You just can get back to back. But, uh, using our Tau Strike Force. Taking the Western Barons. Get this. Honor Guard unit, strain form, entirely of Eldar Stingwings from Vespid itself, sent to protect the colony of Cronus. Fast attack, close combat unit, effective at destroying buildings. Cannot capture or uncapture strategic points. So, what an ass that is. Alright, let's go fuck up these Cronus, uh. Necrons, yeah. In the next video.